Hey guys, welcome to Gulfport, Mississippi. We're gonna take a little tour around town. I wanna check some things out. Usually I spend my day in Biloxi and that is right here on the Gulf. Gulfport is not too far away. It's about 13 miles or so down the Gulf and it is a really beautiful drive. So it's one of my favorite things to do is go drive down from Biloxi all the way to Gulfport with my coffee in the morning. It's one of my favorite things. So let's go check out some stuff in Gulfport today. All right, and first we're gonna take a look at the Gulf from above. This is actually just outside of Gulfport in Long Beach. Can't really drone in Gulfport without permission because of the airports and such. But I wanted to show you because it is lovely. It's the coast, it's white sand, and there is a road that goes all along the Gulf. And you can drive for miles and miles from Biloxi to Gulfport and beyond. So it's amazing. And speaking of that road, we're gonna take it over to Gulfport. This is coming from Long Beach. You can see that there are pull-offs to park at the beach and walk down the steps. And there's also a path along this whole way. So you can bike or run or walk. And I always see people outside getting some fresh air and enjoying the view. So it's kind of neat. It's a neat little drive, as you can see. And of course you can use the beach all along that whole road. We're gonna stop at Gulfport Beach and this is a popular place for people to come and enjoy the beach. There's a restroom building there and they do have ice cream trucks that come around and <laughs> entice people to have ice cream on a hot day. But as you can see, there's plenty of room on this beach and a lot of people enjoying it. So yeah, I always like to stop by and check it out. Next up is Gulfport Marina, and this is where you can take dolphin cruises and also a shuttle to Ship Island. It's a very popular thing to do. Just make sure you plan a lot of time for that itself. Let's check out the marina. Right next to the marina is Jones Park. And what's really special about this is at Christmas time, they set up all these lights that you can walk by. It's just really amazing. But it's a nice little park with a walking path and there's always people here, so it's kind of nice. And we're gonna head downtown Gulfport, one of my favorite places to hang out. We're gonna check out some of the things that downtown Gulfport has. First up is Small Cakes, and this is a fun little bakery that makes some delicious things. And I will tell you, it smells absolutely delightful in here. Be sure to check it out. This is a fun little spot to get a great treat.
Right next door there's a wine cafe and a pizzeria. Next up is Fishbone Alley. This is a very unique place because they have the alley is set up to be part of the fun between these restaurants and bars. And it looks like, uh, you know, there's graffiti and they make it kind of fun and bright and colorful. And then there's access to these patios and to these bars and restaurants from the alley. And you can see the lights. This is gonna be the happening place at night, um, especially on the weekends. Let's go check it out. Right outside of Fishbone Alley are the other side of these buildings. So you're going to find the entrances to these bars or these restaurants. And we're just going to go check out one of the sides here. There's uh, the press box. So they have daiquiris to go. So you can see their patio through that greenery there. And there's a pizzeria as well, which is really fun. And a few more things down the street. So we're just going to take a little walk all the way down. We're gonna stop at this really cute cafe. I was just blown away. It's just adorable with the color that it's painted. And then inside, it's just so cute and comfortable. It definitely is a place I'd like to hang out for a, quite a while. And I did purchase a fun little smoothie here. They have food and a coffee and of course, fun drinks too, so. And one of the most popular things to do in Gulfport is the aquarium. So this is located right on the Beach Boulevard and you can't miss it. It's a huge building. and in the process of building a walkway, pedestrian and public transit over to the other side of the Gulf. So you can park over there and easily walk right over to the aquarium. And of course, it wouldn't be visiting the Biloxi Gulfport area without coming to a casino. Luckily, you do have two casinos here, Beach View Casino, and there's a Skyway over to Island View, and we're gonna go check it out. It is absolutely beautiful and I enjoy coming here so I just really want to show you so let's go check it out 
and there's a parking ramp located right next to Island View. That's where we're going to enter. We're going to go check out the casino. It is really pretty. It's very different. They're both actually themed very differently. So this one's just kind of mellow and soft colors. And there is a coffee shop and some restaurants and some food options in between these two casinos. There's a skyway across and then that will take you over to Beach View. And Beach View is probably my favorite because it has large floor to ceiling windows and it's bright. There's neon, they have a daiquiri bar. It's just a lot of fun. So let's go check it out. And one last view of Island View Casino. We're gonna head over to the Friendship Oak. And I know this is technically actually in Long Beach. The address is in Long Beach. But I just found this really interesting. This tree is 500 years old and it survived Hurricane Katrina, which is amazing. So I had to come check it out. <laughs> but as you can see, it is large. They do have poles that have to hold up these branches. And yeah, I just thought it was really interesting. So. I thought I would share with you. All right, and that is what I found today in Gulfport. I hope that you enjoyed. Of course, there's so much more to do here, but I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you soon.